Expression of a gene can be regulated at various stages. The most common is transcription initiation. When you have completed this exercise, you should understand how activation by recruitment increases gene expression, understand how activation by allosteric also increases gene expression, and understand how repression decreases gene expression. First, we will review transcription. Transcription is the process by which a DNA template is copied to an RNA strand. The primary enzyme of transcription is RNA polymerase. Transcription initiation begins when RNA polymerase binds to a region at the start of the target gene called a promoter. The initial RNA polymerase promoter complex is called a closed complex because the DNA strands remain together. RNA polymerase then causes the DNA at the start site of transcription to unwind. The complex in which the DNA is unwound is called an open complex. In the final step of transcription initiation, RNA polymerase leaves the promoter and begins transcribing the gene. This step is called promoter escape. Many promoters are imperfect. In the absence of regulatory proteins, RNA polymerase binds only weakly. Occasionally, RNA polymerase is able to successfully bind to these promoters and produce an open complex, leading to a low level of constitutive expression called the basal level. RNA expression can be increased over the basal level using activators, or decreased using repressors. An activator is a regulatory protein that increases the level of transcription over the basal level. Activators typically bind to a site on the DNA near the promoter. Most activators have two binding sites, one for interaction with DNA and one for interaction with RNA polymerase. Typically, activators increase RNA expression by binding to the DNA and RNA polymerase simultaneously and holding RNA polymerase in place long enough to initiate transcription. This mechanism of activation is called recruitment. Not all promoters are activated in the same way. Sometimes, RNA polymerase is able to bind to the promoter efficiently, but the RNA polymerase promoter complex isn't able to efficiently convert to the open complex to initiate transcription. At such promoters, activation is accomplished by allosteric. Activators interact with the stable closed complex and induce a conformational change that causes transition to the open complex. Some activators that act by allosteric induce a conformational change in RNA polymerase. While others induce a conformational change in the promoter DNA. A repressor is a regulatory protein that decreases the level of transcription. The site on the DNA where a repressor binds is called an operator. Repressors often bind to a site on the DNA which overlaps the region bound by the RNA polymerase. When a repressor is bound, the RNA polymerase is unable to bind, thus decreasing or eliminating RNA expression. Not all repressors act in the same way. Some repressors inhibit transition to the open complex. Other repressors inhibit promoter escape.
Regulatory proteins are often controlled by the substances which the target gene's protein product metabolizes, or by related substances. This exercise will help you understand how this regulation occurs. Bacteria has been discovered that is capable of metabolizing a rare sugar that is produced by the flowers on which the bacteria live. This bacteria prefers to use glucose as an energy source. However, when glucose is not available, the bacteria switches on the genes for the production of the proteins to metabolize the rare sugar. You have isolated the gene and promoter for one of these proteins. We'll call the gene ALT1. You can use a northern blot to determine the level of RNA expression for this target gene and DNA footprinting to identify the locations where proteins bind to the DNA. The expression level of the gene changes depending on whether glucose and the rare sugar are present. Select whether glucose and the rare sugar are present when the bacteria are grown and press display results. Warning! Be more thorough with your experiments. If you do not experiment with all combinations of glucose and the rare sugar before moving on, your data may be inconclusive. Sugar, ALT1 RNA is expressed at a low level, and DNA footprinting indicates that only RNA polymerase binds to the DNA near ALT1. When the bacteria are grown with neither glucose nor the rare sugar, ALT1 RNA is not expressed. DNA footprinting indicates that a protein binds upstream of the promoter and another protein binds within the promoter DNA. Question 1. For the instance where both sugars were made available, select which proteins bind to which sites. Question 2. Select which proteins bind to which sites when only glucose is present. Question 3. Select which proteins bind to which sites when only the rare sugar is present. Question 4. Select which proteins bind to which sites when neither sugar is present. Question 5. Which step of transcription initiation is most likely inhibited by the repressor? Question 6. How is the repressor regulated? Question 7. Which mechanism of activation is most likely used by the activator? Question 8. How is the activator regulated? In the absence of regulatory proteins, RNA is often expressed at a low basal level. An activator is a regulatory protein that increases the level of transcription over the basal level. Activation can occur by recruitment or by allostery. A repressor is a regulatory protein that decreases the level of transcription.
The site on DNA where a repressor binds is called an operator. You have completed this exercise.